Welcome! In this guide I will illustrate how to set up the code for a protocol for our microagents to query the state of a table at a restaurant and possibly book it if available. Let's start by creating our script for this task. Then move to your text editor application to start writing your code. Here we need first to define different classes for messages to be exchanged between our microagents. Here we import the enum class from the enum module, uh, which is a class in Python for creating enumerations, which are a set of symbolic names bound to unique and custom values. We then import the classes agent, bureau, context and model from the microagents library and define um, the following classes for messages, that is, table status, which, has, uh, which is an enumeration that defines two possible values, reserved and free, uh, for the table at the restaurant, query table request, which has just one attribute table number of type integer. This class is used to define a message that can be sent from the customer agent to the restaurant agent to query the availability of a table. Then we have a query table response, which has just one attribute status of type table status. Uh, this class is used to define a message that can be sent from the restaurant agent to the customer agent to confirm the availability of a table. Then we have book table request, which has just one attribute of ta um, table number of type integer. This class is used to define a message that can be sent from the customer agent to the restaurant agent to request to book a table. And finally, we have book table response, which has just one attribute, success of type boolean. This class is used to define a message that can be sent from the restaurant agent to the user, uh, that is, customer agent, to confirm whether the table booking request was successful or not. We then um, are ready to create our two agent instances of the class agent, that is, customer and um, restaurant. We then need uh, to define each agent's behavior and functions to be executed. We first consider the customer agent and then the restaurant agent. Here, this event handler defines the on interval decorator provided by the microagents library to schedule a function to be called every three seconds. The messages parameter specifies the type of messages, uh, the of type of message that the function should handle, in this case a query table request. The CTX parameter is an instance of the context class which provides access to various resources and methods that are available to the agent. The function starts by checking if the agent has already sent a request to the restaurant by getting the value started from the uh, microagent storage using ctxstorage.get. If the value of started is false, then the function sends a query table request message to the restaurant using ctx.send method and sets the value of started to true using ctx.store.set. The purpose of this decorator is to have the, the customer agent sending a query message to the restaurant agent every 3 seconds to check for the availability of table 42. The started key is used to ensure that the query message is only sent once when the agent starts running. This defines a message handle for the uh, customer agent that handles incoming query table responses uh, messages from the restaurant agent. If the response indicates that the table is free, then it sends a book table request message to the restaurant agent to attempt to book the table with the specified number, in this case 42. If the response indicates that the table is not free, it locks a message indicating that there is nothing more to do. This defines a message handler that handles a book table response message. It takes in a context object the name of the sender of the message and the message itself. The function first checks if the reservation was successful by looking at the success attribute of the message. If it was successful, the function logs a message at the info level saying that the table reservation was successful. If it was unsuccessful, 
the function logs a message at the info level saying that the table reservation was unsuccessful. We can now start writing the behavior and function of our two second um, micro agents, that is, restaurant. This defines a message handler which handles a query table request message from the customer agent. It takes in a context object, the name of the sender of the message and the message itself. It first checks if the requested table number is in the storage by calling the has method on the ctx.storage object. If the table number is in the storage, the, table, uh, the status of the table is set to table status dot reserved, otherwise the status is set to free. The function then logs a message at the info level indicating the table number and its status. Finally, the function sends a query table response message back to the sender with the status of the table. Note that the replies parameter specifies um, the expected response message type, which is a query table response. This helps the system to verify that the response message has the correct format. This handles a book table request message. It takes in a context object the name of the sender and the message itself. It first checks if the requested table number is in the storage by calling um, the has method of the ctx.storage object. If the table number is in storage, it means that the table has been already reserved and the success variable is set to false. Otherwise, the function sets uh, the success variable to true to indicate that the table has been successfully reserved and stores the name of the senders in the storage using the set method. The function then sends a book table response message back to the sender with the result of the table booking operation. If the reservation was successful, the success field of the response will be true, otherwise it will be false. Note that the replies parameter specifies the expected response message type, which is book table response. This helps the system to verify that the response message has the correct format. Now that we have defined both of our agents and their respective behaviors and functions, we need to add them to a bureau, so for them to be run at the same time. Now we are ready to run our script. Make sure you save your script and that you are in the correct directory for our project. Then uh, move to your uh, terminal and launch your virtual environment and run your script. As it is possible to see from the output, we successfully created two micro agents, customer and restaurant, with the customer agents querying for availability of table 42 at the restaurant and possibly book it, and the restaurant agent checking for the effective availability and answering back with the status of such booking requests. Thank you for watching.